This tutorial is going to show you how to set the uh, setting that's in Moodle aggregate only non-empty grades. That setting controls whether or not empty grades are counted in a student's overall grade. Grades are typically empty until the assignment's been turned in or graded. So here's how we're going to set that. Over in the left pane under administration, go down to grades and click it. When the grader report comes up, you can see the grades uh, along with the students' pictures and names, which we blocked out because this is an actual class. Now I'll point out, with a setting like it is now, which is to aggregate only non-empty grades, let's take a look at this student right here. It's the highest one in the class, and that grade has come out to 92.83. So we're going to see how the setting affects. We're just going to focus on that one grade as we change the setting. All right, let's go back up and uh, under Choose an Action pull-down box, under Categories and Items, select the Full View. Now this Full View is where we see the setting, Aggregate Only Non-Empty Grades. You see the checkbox is on, that's the default, and that means that any empty grades have not been counted into the total, so the student is not penalized for anything that's not been graded or turned in, even. Now if we want to change this, we could click that checkbox off, go down to the bottom of the screen, and click Save Changes. Now we see the full view screen come back up, so let's go look at the grades. We can also do this easily by clicking the grades uh, breadcrumb up here, in, right after the course name. Okay, now here's the grader report. Now we've checked off the, the uh, setting. Now let's look back at this student. This one right here was the one that had the higher grade a while ago. Uh, and now it's, it's lowered because there's a, a couple of missing assignments there. Okay, so let's go take a look at all of the grades and we'll see what's going on here. I'm going to expand this box. It's right beside the, uh, the, the class name here. Okay, so now this will expanded view shows all the grades, including the empty ones. All right, so we're going to scroll down a little bit. And you see the final column is empty, so the final exam has not been graded here. And there's a writing assignment number two that uh, nobody has any grades under. So these now, with us checking that checkbox off, these are starting to count against the students. With the checkbox on, these did not count against the student. Okay, I'd like to point out one other thing. If you like the setting, aggregate only non-empty grades, but you like to control it on an assignment by assignment basis, then there's a way to do that. Just leave it checked on like we had at the beginning and go into the, the assignment that is now past due and you want to start penalizing the students that didn't turn in the assignment and go to the empty box for the one that didn't get turned in and press zero. When you do this, the, um, and, and once you've gone to the bottom, you've done all the students that way and then press update, then that um, assignment is going to start counting against that student. So that way you can control it on an assignment by assignment basis not just with the one click box for aggregate only nine empty grades, but you can do it for each assignment that is past due now. Whatever you decide to do, whatever approach you take on this setting, it's best to explain it to the students early in the semester so that they understand what the grade they see in Moodle represents. In other words, when will an unfinished assignment count against them in their Moodle course uh, total grade. Thank you.